did actually try to do things other than plow. So we ended up, we used, I think, this plow um, to plow the field. I did try a disc harrow. Um, I can't remember which one. Um, probably this one. Um, six meters. Um, harrows do not rip up grass. So yeah that was a thing i'm guessing you can use a subsoiler to rip up what's there you can probably use a spader i tend not to because um, the working width on a spader is dire and the working speed on a spader is dire as well so if you want to drive like a uh, a snail um, you can use a spader, but frankly, I would prefer a subsoiler or um, plow. I think plows possibly because the working speed is better. Although you get, you know, again, it's easier to use a plow with GPS than it is to eyeball it. And yeah, the big plows definitely it, it can be quite a handful. Um, what I've done in the past is have a big tractor with a big plow, and then something about this size with a small plow to uh, tidy things up after the work has gone through. Um, but it appears that harrows, probably disc harrows, don't work for ripping up the crop in the ground. And I tried to use a, har a, a harrow because I wanted to avoid creating rocks and making more work for myself. Um, cultivators, I'm not sure. Cultivators may rip up what's in the ground and I would have to do some tests with that. Um, and since we're kind of early starting out, I'm really not looking at... Um, doing too much sciencing when hiring equipment it's sort of well we'll hire equipment we need as we need it so things like um, spreaders and sprayers with spot spray and stuff like that yeah I'm going to rent those because I don't have one right now um, but a cultivator I'm not Unless I need one, I'm not inclined to lease one just to test things out. And the reason for that is because we're still starting up. We're still growing. We're in the initial growing stages where I still need equipment. I still need more fields um, and all of that type of jazz. It's, it's just easier to um, do what you have to. Yeah, not getting a roller because rollers cost money and yield bonus is kind of negligible. But eventually rollers might be a thing that you know, we'll buy one and we'll use it just because yeah, the yield bonus is kind of negligible but hey, it's still something. And if you're rolling 50 fields then obviously the income boost you get from that is far more significant than the income boost from uh, rolling two fields which is effectively what we're looking at this year So it looks like we'll be coming back along this edge. So I will try and tidy up that end of the field when we get back there. And then we'll shuttle down to this other end, um, do this little banjo area and tidy up the top end too. And that will be good the grass planted. Hi cows. Oh. that's cool but yeah apart from that not a lot else happening lately obviously the queen died last weekend and and I 
do know somebody who's still alive who remembers her father. Because my grandmother is as old as the Queen. And definitely showing the signs of being as old as the Queen. Obviously there's quite a lot of concern at the moment with all of the, the sort of the stuff that's going on in Europe with the uh, price of fuel and everything else and cost of heating and governments just saying hey you just not we're not going to let you heat your house um, and stuff like that which is rather concerning for people who are 96 years old and living alone. Okay, how are we going to do this? I think what I might do is just run straight and then back it up and clean up the edge. So even though I keep hitting the tow bar, um, I don't seem to be causing issues with the planting um, work area. So that's kind of a good thing, I think. I'm going to have to drift to the left here. Yeah, we can lift that. I will do a slight bit of backing into that corner. Because OCD Farmer says you missed a bit. notice there's a couple of bits like this on the field and I got a feeling that's where the plow didn't plow up what was there um, now since this is a grass field or yet yeah, we're reseeding this as a grass field we're really not going to notice the difference between sort of the grass that was there and the grass that we're planting still all grass it's still all mowable even if some patches of it may not be uh, plowed but, uh, still where it's good enough and we do have manure yay so i'll be using the manure in our uh, greenhouse garden thing which will not change anything as far as the production is concerned but it will um, reduce the cost of production obviously at the moment we are paying for water we're paying for um, seed and we're paying for solid fer solid solid fertilizer and um, since we now are producing manure we can dump manure in that and forego the solid fertilizer still going to need seeds um, and now that there is a lake on this map um, i think we can take a uh, a water tanker down there and fill up 
for free. Um, I think the nice thing about this map, all of the base um, animal husbandries are the ones that don't need you to add water. They're all plumbed in, the water's automatically provided to the animals, so no cares there. But um, for stuff that needs water, there wasn't any natural water source on this map, which meant you had to install some form of water production device. And the one I found and loaded charges you for the water. But on the first update of this map, uh, Cavalier Roy did add a water source. So that is now something that's available to us. Um, it's a bit of a trek because it's all the way down here. Um, and it's... Oh, you come off... Where's the... You can either come off here and head down through this yard, or I think you come off here and head across country. Um, can't remember if you go up there and then wiggle through there, then through that yard and down. There may be access from down here. Um, I think that's the sawmill, yeah. And that's the spinner. So that's the sawmill. So you could head down to the sawmill and then cut across past 18 and 17. Um, but it's available. Um, however, we've got a tiny water tank, so I'm not sure I'm going to get rid of our water tap until we have something that's a little more capable in its transport capacity. We do have my eye on a, uh, an MAN truck tanker, which can transport, among other things, milk, and we are going to need to consider doing that sometime fairly soon, because I'm plant buying one-year-old cows, they produce milk, they don't produce uh, babies yet. Although I think our first five cows should um, reach childbearing age in January. Um, how's about we take this road? I'm sort of looking at all that line up and it's sort of, well, I could just go down the row I'm lined up on and uh, work it all out as we um, fill in the gaps. Okay. I think there's two rows here, yes. this one and then uh, I'll go back down there finish that end off and then we'll finish this two rows that will be the grass seeding done as I said I could do wheat or barley or oats in the other field which would give us more straw But I'm thinking we buy that field just to the north of the cow pasture. And uh, that will give us straw. And I 
don't have to worry about uh, that for a couple of years. Don't even know how much milk we've got. So, December, we will have to move whatever tomatoes we've got grown. And we will also have to um, deliver all the other stuffs. So that's really what I'm looking at next is let's finish making money from this year's crops. I think it's supposed to snow all through December. <coughs> so we'll be uh, busy trucking stuff to places if we're lucky not too far and that was wide enough so turn off the GPS don't need it for the ends paying attention. Could have skipped having to come back. Well, I don't think so. There we go. I think it's light enough that we don't need lights on, especially since we're in the middle of a field. And there's not much risk of uh, oncoming traffic at this stage. And that is one field planted. So, ground here is clay. So it's never going to be a great yield. But at this stage, I believe this field and that field are probably sufficient um, not that we own 53. Um, I'm still leaving that as a contract field because it's kind of handy on that count. Um, so if I switch that to soybeans, we'll put this away. Technically, I should empty it, wash it out, etc., etc., but we don't have realistic cedar, so uh, I don't really have to take the seeds out. Just leave it set up for spring. The sprayer kit I'll probably end up updating to a uh, a large toad or a larger toad sprayer. Maybe Cavernland, maybe uh, Orange Kubota. They're the same thing, just different colours effectively. Although the Kubota does include a cheat mode, which the Cavernland doesn't. There we go, that's better. Drop the you. So we've got four. Probably end up with about six tomatoes to take to market. Uh, I am not sure. I don't know whether I want to keep this thing. Um, now that we have the bale collector. And that can take 24 bales. I can, I can fit about 14 on this before it just gets unmanageable. However, it is not worth a lot. 
so that may be um, yeah 2500 I mean it's it's not like we'll get a lot of money selling it and we may find future use for it um, but for right now it's it's really not something I'm making a lot of use for um, everything else here is fine gonna want to replace the mower kit but probably larger tractor first um, again potential for replacing these two sheds however these two sheds do form the back wall for the pig enclosure if we run through here there is nothing here um, so that might mean I would need to stick a hedge up and then plant um, a shed there I could also replace these sheds as well with something a little bit more substantial but for right now um, I'm not looking at replacing any of the yard buildings so we're all good with that I guess um, I'm going to speed up time again and we'll get through to afternoon see what comes up in the store sale but yeah this tanker does us okay how are we doing for things in the garden okay we have 9,000 water we've got seeds and solid fertilizer and like I said we can we can switch that to manure once the solid fertilizer is gone how much seeds do we have left here Tea. oh dear and we have these which I believe were created day two so probably I don't know that they're going to be ready for January or December 1 okay so everything's fine it's now the afternoon so nothing new And again, not much in the way of contract, so I think we can drive home and sleep, see what tomorrow brings. I'm expecting snow, and uh, and new vehicle sales, and selling all our stuff. And that's going to take a while. We'll have to use the Deutz for that because uh, we do have quite a large grain trailer and the Massey does struggle with it. I would like a small one though for moving product around the yard. But uh, that's more of a case of we want that when we get uh, pigs. I, th I think I added a small tipper. Maybe. Yes, I added the Stroutman. So, something like that. The base for 4,000 litres will probably do okay. Uh, sleep till night. It's not like uh, we have a lot of work on the farm to do, sorry about that. Okay, so loan interest is now down to £55. Um, yeah, I did plonk a couple of hedges down here, which are completely different to those hedges, but and also you can't walk through them. But... Uh, 
those hedges disappeared on me and here I put down a couple I think here had disappeared maybe there that one had disappeared I chopped the end hedge off and chopped the tree down that was there so that we do have good access here um, we are looking at that's canola and it's growing so I don't need to do anything there. Let's check the store sales. Yay. Store sales hype. Ooh. Fast bait is still there. That thing is 135 horsepower. Really don't want one of those. That is a shallow cultivator. Needs 390 horsepower. So it's a nice price, but frankly I do not have the tractor for that and then there's this thing 200 horsepower it's only six meters um, I think ours is bigger um, mowers mini mini mowers uh, 6.2 so I have kind of looked at that and thought I think I think that's a mower is oh no it's a mulcher okay but our mower mulches, so not really a thing I need. I mean, I guess if I didn't have a mulcher, um, I could consider that as a, a thing to get. Plus, because it mounts directly to the tractor, it's easier to control where it goes. But, nope, nothing for sale. So, price, let's check the prices. Ugh. Okay, wheat is three hundred and eighty pounds. So we can sell at the grain mill. Barley is three hundred and sixty um, at the farmers market and oats we're playing hard mode. Should have been sold yesterday. Well, suck. Um, however, cereal factory will take it for six thirteen. I guess we should have sold the oats yesterday. <clears throat> oh, and the weather report says it's gonna snow soon. I think we'll sell the the blah, 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 the oats first because one they're the most valuable and two they're past their best sell by date. But all three are above um, above best price. So 